thank you. My name is Martin Zarut. I'm a PhD student at the Institute of Sociology, University of Warsaw. Uh, this talk, uh, before I start, uh, I wish to pass the greetings from the Warsaw and Polish hacker community to the participants of this conference. Uh, when I, uh, during this conversation or during this, this speak, when I mention hacker or hacker space, I mention them in a positive term. Uh, as a people working on open data, struggling for open source activists, not as a computer thieves. So uh, this short remark um, could be useful. This presentation was also prepared together with Citizens of Science social movement, uh, to whom I also thank. So uh, my predecessors during the keynote speaks uh, mentioned that this open science concepts uh, is strongly enrooted in uh, scientific culture, but during the most recent history, during this uh, 20th century, uh, the large role model for open science uh, community was of course uh, open source software. So here's the common roots uh, for hackers movement or citizens techno science or non-formal scientific groups and that is closely connected uh, with open science community. So in that sense, open science or open access science, which is a smaller part of general concept, is also connected uh, with the hackers ethics. Uh, so one important example during the last two or three years was the rise of open hardware movement. It was like a, uh, enlarging the concept of open source software to an open hardware concept. Uh, within this concept, uh, two major devices, or three major devices were de uh, prepared or constructed. First of all was Raspberry Pi, uh, which is small microcomputer, very cheap, uh, and it's developed in open source method. Full documentation is available. It actually sold for, with about two millions of uh, units. And the, ad, an additional um, example could be, for example, uh, RepRap, a small 3D printer, very popular in hackers community, and Arduino PI, or Arduino Just, a uh, small embedded system. Uh, which is important, all those the devices uh, are used both in hackers communities were, were developed in hackers communities or were developed in hacker spaces, but they are also used in major universities. For example, they are used in learning. For example, University of Cambridge used it or prepared uh, a whole course on do-it-yourself electronics or do-it-yourself open source devices. And the same approach is used, for example, in Warsaw University of Technology. Some electronic classes also uh, use or employ some of those devices. But what is more important uh, that open source concept or power of open source was also used in super com to construct a supercomputer at the University of Southampton. Uh, here is the example, and it was built by uh, Ardu Arduino uh, embedded circuits and Lego bricks. So we have the serious supercomputer with Lego bricks, and it actually works. It has a uh, few teraflops. And of course, this example inspired many hacker spaces in the world. So I could uh, say, as a sociologist, that somewhere in the world, in one of the one hacker space, someone is building a supercomputer or resembling that model. So that's the power of open source. From the very basic circuits, from the very basic elements, uh, scientists or amateurs or amateur uh, citizen techno scientists, as I call them, uh, are building major works. Another, oh sorry, another important uh, aspect is the open source of ecology. Uh, it was proposed by Martin Jakubowski, uh, a PhD uh, in physics uh, from with a Polish American origins. Uh, he proposed to uh, devise um, 50 basic agricultural or household machines developed within the open source concept. And uh, they are working on it. At this moment, they have about 20 machines devised and whole bro um, full bro blueprints for DOMS machines are, are available online. And what is more, blueprints for those machines are also worked or analyzed in the agricultural academies. For example, in Beijing or uh, in other developing countries. 
So, as you are probably aware, open science, especially in the technical or applied sciences, isn't only the case of publishing or uh, circulation of uh, journals and publications, but it's also the circulations of inventions, circulation of blueprints. So this open source ecology is actually working. Um, there are different business models uh, sort of as, as, um, resembling the Linux community. For example, you get the idea for free, but you pay for service. Uh, you get the idea for free, but you can pay something extra for some extra features. Uh, but the whole principle is very close connected to, to the open science community. Uh, and Martin Jakubowski himself is a strong uh, endorser of both open source ecology and open science movements. Uh, it's one of the examples uh, that one of my um, observants worked on. Uh, it's a small joint in an agricultural machine. And the uh, fully constructed machine, it was developed in the United States, but some, some of the participants were from Poland. It's a small tractor for the local ru rural communities. And it was fully, de fully developed uh, within the open source uh, or open techno sciences model. Um, both of those things, uh, uh, such as open hardware or open source ecology and open science, participate in, in a turn or in a movement that, I'm, that is called maker's movement. It's the recent revival of do-it-yourself approach. Um, historians of hacking or historians of uh, hackers community could say that there, there were three generations of tinkerers and hackers. I, wouldn't, uh, I won't uh, discuss it in details. But the recent generation, uh, of course, is uh, very closely attached to the open science model. One example could be that one of uh, participants of my observation from one of the uh, cities in Poland uh, uh, look for themselves for the scientific publications in physics or in plus one, and they ask me, could I help them you know, to get the, some, bibli uh, some references used in the journals? So informal science group uh, built by laymen or built by people with, uh, not fully, uh, without the fully university education uh, is actually working or is actually using open source model. Example of such place is the hacker space. Uh, I guess that if you are from uh, bigger cities in Poland, and uh, there are at least one hacker space in your city. You are probably not aware of it, uh, but uh, they like you. They are not offensive, and they very like open libraries. So if you are looking for some kind of software support, you can also look for local hacker space. And during the last two or three years, uh, in Poland we have seen the rise of hacker spaces. And during the last two years, at least six of that kind of places emerged without funding, uh, totally of the official administration network. And they are strongly collaborating with this open hardware movement, open source movement, open culture movement. Uh, and I think that from the side of um, open scientists, the hackers movement are their allies. Um, of course, Make Magazine or Maker Corps are the advocates for this movement. Uh, my, uh, do I have a time? Okay, so last closing remark. During the last um, one or two years, uh, okay, to start. Um, as you are aware, one of the first open source or, or, or open access journals were Public Library of Science or PLOS. So, uh, life sciences were in the open access movement from the beginning. And the same applies uh, to the movement inside of makers community, because during the last one or two years, it's very recent, we have seen the rise of biohackers. You, we can see the citizens working on gene splicing or participating in international projects on bi biotechnology, totally of the official uh, university grid or collaborating with it. One example 
uh, could be international genetically engineered mechanisms concept, uh, contests. Uh, it's an important contest for biotech stu students. And it also works on open uh, source uh, concept. On, it also employs open data. Not only open publications, but also open data during the whole process. Uh, it's, uh, it's the paper or uh, poster that I have presented, the per, um, first stages of observation in one of the communities. I won't discuss it in details, but I only wish to show you that this community built apart from technical university in Łódź, but with some informal networks, managed to devise a small wind turbine and also automatics, depending on the Arduino project. So they haven't got access to the formal technical laboratory. They haven't got access uh, to the whole staff and whole resources of technical university. But nevertheless, they managed uh, to propose some prototypes, they managed to work on it, and they are working. This community exists. And I guess that's all. Uh, so my conclusion is that open access or open science is a uh, large movement. Uh, it also constitutes um, similar approaches in uh, technical sciences and in life sciences. So when you publish something in open data, you are not alone. Somewhere in the world, there might be a hacker or biohacker that is interested in your work. Thank you very much.